This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Dell Streak 5 Android phone and tablet with a 5-inch display. Now, we've already done a review of this several months ago, but as you know, we've all been waiting for Android OS 2.2 Froyo to come to the phone. This is the AT&T locked version of the phone, the kind that you can get at your local Best Buy, and we've taken it upon ourselves to install Froyo 2.2. This is the Dell-issued Froyo. No uh, third-party ROMs here. And this is meant for unlocked Dell streaks because Dell is still waiting for approval from AT&T to put it on AT&T phones. But you can go ahead and do that. It takes a, a little bit of technical manipulation and we'll post instructions and a lot of it can be learned from streakdroid.com. But in the end, what we've got here is an early look at 2.2 Froyo on the Dell Streak 5. So you can see here we still have we have the new Dell Stage UI, same as on the Streak 7, only we've got much better hardware here, honestly, on the Dell Streak 5, a higher quality display and a resolution that matches the 5-inch diagonal screen size very well. So right here, this is your most recently used programs launcher with embedded weather. And that's your quick dial here for your favorites and other recents that you've called, pretty handy, so it's one touch to bring up the contact and then make a call. We've got an email widget here. We don't have an email account set up here other than our Gmail account, so it's not showing up, but it would. And here we've got, you can have two instances of the social networking widget, one which handles Twitter and one which handles Facebook, so we've got that going here. Twitter, and on this side for Facebook, and it's labeled down here, so you know what you're looking at. Then there's the music widget here. If there's album art available like there is for that one, you'll see the album art, but your music will show up here and access to playlists and full album listings as well as the Amazon MP3 store. And lastly, here's the web page quick launcher. You can do your Google search, it's embedded right in, or voice search, and then here are some of our favorite websites, so you can just tap on those to go right to the website. We'll go visit our website right now. Since this is running Froyo, we've got Flash 10.1 that came with the installation. So you can actually view true flash videos here without using the YouTube player to view mobile versions. So there it is loading our site. It's pretty quick at that. And we'll take a look at the Dell Streak 7 review so we can watch the video. It's a flash video embedded in that review. Performance is pretty good. This is the same old 1 GHz Qualcomm Snap Snapdragon first gen CPU and Quadrant benchmarks go up to about the 850s with Froyo, which is an improvement over the original. And, of course, with some tweaking, you can get that even higher if you're the kind of person who likes to tweak with their software. And now we are playing True Flash this Video. This is the Dell Streak 7 Android tablet on T-Mobile. Now, T-Mobile already has the Samsung Galaxy Tab, which is a fine 7 -inch. Also, the stage UI, you'll notice if you just swipe from here to here to here, so on, you're just going to switch screens. But if you grab down below, you've, you'll just see the normal shortcuts here for call, all programs, and the web. But if you grab down here, you'll see these little icons that tell you what kind of widgets on each screen, which is pretty handy, too, for a quick shortcut if you just want to jump to a screen, like the music screen. Let's take a look at the other software that's on here. First off, you'll notice we have some AT&T apps here. We have AT&T Navigator. If you go to the market, I'll show you, you still get your AT&T tab. And we're doing this over AT&T's 3G network right now. So here's the updated market. It, when you first put the update on, you won't see the new market. You have to wait for Google to download it to your device, but that happened pretty quickly for us. So we've got the AT&T tab here, apps, games, and of course, all the other good stuff in the market. So it's still fully supported by AT&T, even if you go with the unlocked build. So you can download Uverse, AT&T Navigator, and other stuff. The so Navigator runs just fine on this. We've also got a couple of other apps. They include AccuWeather.com for weather forecasts, obviously. Assistant Free. A backup and restore application that's powered by Nero, just like the last 1.6 donut version that we saw in Dell Video Stage, which is a pay-per-view service that has a lot of indie films on it. We'll take a look at that. So you've got your movies you can choose from right here. 
Let's pick on one so you can view a synopsis. Rent it for $3.99 or buy it for $15.95. So even Dell apparently has their own portal for selling content now. Another neat app is Radio Time. And this does streaming radio. It has a very good selection of local radio streaming. Of course, there's other sources, including podcasts, too. And we'll just take a look at our public radio station here. And at first, it buffers the stream before it starts playing. And you've got a play pause button here. And they also have a You May Like. You can see what you're currently watching once it loads. And you can also see the full schedule for that radio station, which is pretty cool. So there we got the full schedule for what's on today on our local NPR station. Quick Office is bundled. You've got a sound recorder as well. But we and as you can we see, see the radio light. plays in the background. And you can control it just like that. So we've got Quick Office on here, Dell's little welcome application. Of course, the usual YouTube player, all the good Google stuff is here, Maps Navigation and Places, Gmail, Messaging, and the Email app. Now, unfortunately, you do lose a few cool things that the 1.6 donut version of the Dell Streak software had. For example, they had a really nice customized dialer with integrated contacts. So this is the new dialer now. It's just giant buttons, big call, access to voicemail, and to voice dialing, and then you shortcuts to the usual call log contacts and favorites up here. So that integration is gone. Calendar and Contacts also now have no enhancements. They're just the straight Froyo versions. The same thing with the Dell Streak 7. Apparently Dell didn't take the time to tweak the software quite so much. And lastly, we'll just launch an application where we can use our keyboard. So you can see. Now you get the Swipe keyboard, which is cool because people absolutely love Swipe. But Dell had done their own really neat keyboard that had keyboard here and then a separate number pad since there is plenty of space to do such a thing and that is also gone if you upgrade to Froyo. Speed is pretty good on this as you can see it's responsive there's no lag we have no problems whatsoever with performance on this so definitely a worthwhile upgrade and hopefully AT&T will get this out to everybody soon who has a Dell Streak 5. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is Froyo 2.2 running on the Dell Streak 5.